Hi everyone, uh, what we're going to do in this particular video clip is we're going to take a look at changing the document root of a um, of a folder. Okay, uh, we're going to actually take a quick look into the document root of, uh, of where the web server uh, actually has things first. Um, I should have used the other function there. So I'm going to use the file manager to do that. Okay, so if we go into ver www html, this is our um, this is our document root for our server. We can find that out for sure by taking a look at our HTTP D config file. In fact. All the configuration files for our HTTP server exist inside of uh, slash etc slash httpd, which happens to be where I am right now. Um, there's two different folders that have configuration files. In particular, we have the uh, the conf file and the conf.d file. Uh, we'll look at the conf.d file a little bit later, but for right now, we're going to go into the conf file and we're going to take a look, and we see that we have this file right here called conf dot or httpd.conf. Now notice I have a httpd.conf.conf here. That's just a backup file so that I don't uh, I don't mess anything up too badly. Always a good idea to make a backup file of that file before you uh, you get going. And as another note, anything that I'm doing right and now for examples for you guys, I'm almost always going back to the original setup and if I don't I'll let you know at the beginning of a video clip. Okay. So if I go into the uh, into the uh, HTTP config file, I can go and take a look for document root. And you can see right now that my document root is currently set to ver www. Uh, slash HTML, which is where I am now, var www HTML. You see there's a thing called my file here, there's also a new folder. So let's just go to localhost. Because the server's running, we get this page. Let's try the uh, my file.html. We'll get our test file. This is the file we created uh, when we first installed the server. Um, you saw a few videos back. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to modify this file to point to a different place. Now, to do that, I need to become the super user. So once I'm the super user, you see you in document root. I'm going to come down here. So Right here, if you take a look, we have a thing called new folder already. Um, I'm going to actually set this for a new folder right now, just to be a little bit different, mainly because I had to reshoot this video. So I just changed that file and I saved it. When I go to reload now, nothing's really going to change. The reason that nothing has changed is that although we changed our HTTP config file, um, we need to restart our web server for any changes in this file to uh, to be uh, taken effect. So we restart our web server and the first thing we notice is that, hey, wait a minute, um, our server didn't start back up again. The reason the server didn't start back up again is because this folder does not exist. So a new folder does not exist. So if I want this to work, I got a choice. I can either create a folder called a new folder, which is what I'm going to do, or I can change my directive to say a uh, new folder. So for right now, I'm just going to change the um, I'm going to make that folder. So it's it's ver um, www html so a new folder I'm just creating that folder we'll check in the browser over here to see that it actually did get created and now when I go to
you'll notice that our, my document root still matches up. So I'm going to just try to restart my web server again. Now I'm going to leave it at restart. You'll notice it'll say fail when it sh tries to shut it down now because it's not running. But that's fine. So at this point, all looks good. So I'm going to just try to go to just localhost first. And localhost works, so I'm going, okay, all right, things seem to be working. When I try to go to my file, that uh, HTML, I still get my file. That's strange. There we go. Got to hit reset or refresh. Um, the reason that that didn't work for me uh, is that I don't have that file in this folder. So it's in this folder, but this is no longer my document root folder. So unless I create a file to put in over here, uh, nothing's going to happen. So I guess that's what I'll do now. Um, for HTML. So we'll go into a new folder. Um, we'll call this one uh, new.html. We'll just create a very simple HTML page, or not even a HTML page, I'm just putting a single HTML direct uh, tag in here. But that'll be enough for my web browser to be able to do its thing. So it's called new.htm. So I still don't have my file here, but if I was to type new here instead, I'll get exactly what I just typed. This is our new document root. So I want to change this back now to be the way it was before. Um, so I go back to my config directory. My document root. I'm just going to change this back to be uh, var www.html. Again, this is not going to make any difference until I actually go through and restart my web server. This time it stopped and started without issue, so if I go to refresh this now, because there's no new file in this folder here, which is our new document root, just var www.html, um, that's really all we can do. Um, if I try to go to my file now, though, the problem I had with my file before, I don't have anymore because it's there. So uh, that's just a, a quick overview of how to change document root and a couple of little gotchas you got to watch out for. The uh, the folder has to already exist for you to be able to start your server after you change to document root. Just keep that in mind, and you should be good. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye for now.